We're just wrapping up here, finishing up everything that we've done, painting the brick here using cobblestone. We've also painted the mantle here as well as the wrapping around bookcase. And uh, we're gonna do something to this antique brass fireplace surround and give it an update using all-in-one paint. We've already deglossed this surface and we're gonna be painting it with our color called Truffle. Once dry, this color really looks like an oil rub bronze and it's gonna really update this. And when you look at the fireplace, it's gonna give you a much more updated look than what you see right now. And I hope Shirley is excited to see that. I can't wait to see what we end, end with this piece. And you think it's gonna be good to get rid of this gold, I hope. Absolutely, and I love oil, oil base bronze. Or I the do too. look, it's just so rich. Yeah. Yes, and, and I mean, this is really a piece that's in pretty decent shape. It is, it's not like yeah. it's that old looking, but it still dates the fireplace. Right. So hopefully it will be something that when you look over here, you don't just notice it. Right now, because we've updated it with this cool gray, first thing you see is this. Right. We'll just kind of take the eye away from that. Oh, we have, I can't wait to see that. I, I'm, a very, I'm a very bronze kind of girl. Good. And I think Char will love the bronze. I think the bronze will really class it up. I really do. Right. So we'll be adding accessories back to the bookcases and putting up that beautiful cross that Tanya had given Shirley. And we'll be adding that right here to the top of this fireplace later. So come back and see it. I'm gonna show you how you can start working on your fireplace if you have something like this. I'm using our deglosser product. You can put it on with a brush, but here's what happens. You don't wanna get it on glass. And here's how I will suggest that you can do that. You can just dip your rag a little bit into the deglosser and rub it on with just a rag and just make sure that you get it on there. And then you can take the other side of your dry rag and just wipe it off there. You don't want to get the deglosser on a mirror or glass and you want to get it on and get it off of there. So you're just going to clean your piece and get it wiped down really well. Fire when it burns, gas when it burns, produces an oil residue because it's petroleum. It's going to smoke and all of that. And uh, anything that's going to settle on this will also inhibit the paint from bonding. So you want to be sure and wipe away any of that that might be on that fireplace. And uh, even on this mantle or on this surround, you want to be sure and wipe it off well. So I'm gonna show you how to do brush and roll. You're gonna just put on that brush coat. This first coat's not gonna look so great. Just put it on and you're gonna put on your first ugly coat. You're gonna use your roller and lightly roll back through that just to get that first coat to start to lay down and bond to that brass. And you're gonna continue that process, lightly rolling right back through the paint. Also got a little small trim brush and I'm gonna use that to go in between the doors and get all of that done. I'm just gonna give you an idea of what this is gonna look like. That already makes such a huge difference. I bet it it's will. Wild. Truffle is the color we're using. Truffle is a chocolate brown, but it can look like in certain colorings that it looks like uh, oil rub bronze. We also have Corinthian. The two of those together, depending on what other colors you're using in your room, uh, can look like oil rub bronze. So if everybody's got different uh, oil rub bronze ideas, you know, some of them look more this color and then Corinthian too, depending on the brand of things that you're looking at, light fixtures, faucets, and so on. So I like this truffle color because it does emulate that very much. All right, so I'm going to let this first coat dry. Hopefully I can get that to dry while you're here. First of all, I'm using this little sable brush. This is about, I'm gonna say about three quarters of an inch sable brush. And that really helps you get in here and put paint in areas like this. I'll just leave the doors closed for now, but you don't have to worry the first coat's really ugly. It's gonna look very striped and ugly. So get that first one on, let it dry. If you get a little on the glass, don't worry. You're gonna take a little razor knife if you need to and wipe that or take that and scrape that off. You get it pretty quick, your fingernail works pretty good too. Yes, you can do that. You can wipe it off with your fingernail or even, I wouldn't try to wipe it with a rag because that just smears and even leaves a worse mark, but just leave it there for a minute, let it dry is probably the easiest. Just get this first one on there, okay?
just wipe this down prior to coming live. We wiped this down using our deglosser product and gave it a clean. And now we are applying our paint color called Truffle. And I'm using a brush and roll technique. Although around these small areas, I'm just using this artist brush to get on the first coat of paint. I'm not doing brush and roll because I can't hardly roll. Anywhere I'm getting onto the glass, I'll just take a small razor knife and get that off. But I want to go ahead and cut it in as best I can on all of the metal. We're going to get that first coat on here and kill off anything that's brass and it's going to look like new when we get done. up here so lightly go over anything you have that's got this little cut out grill work like that because it's offloading your brush you realize that when something's got this little fret work in it like that you just barely push push the brush on that so you don't push all that paint in there and have it running in behind you I can't get over how good that's covering it could be good see oh that one was great see that lets me stipple that come here little roller on the side what a good trick that is <laughs> 